brain. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine. In two straight lines, in rain or shine. <laughs> the smallest one was Madeline. When the girls returned one day, the strains of a waltz began to play. While up in the attic, the twelve girls found trunks and boxes filled with sound. Bonjour, Lord Cuckoo Face. Good afternoon, Miss Clavel. And where are the young ladies today? They have found musical instruments in the attic. I had no idea they could play like that. But, uh... They must play at the Bastille Day celebration at the Eiffel Tower. All of Paris will be there. Oh, no, Lord Cuckoo Face. You do not understand. They could not... Uh, they cannot... Say no more. It is as good as done. My dear friend, Maestro Stroganoff will conduct them. But it is not possible, Lord Cuckoo Face. How proud I will be to present these musical talents to the city. Good day, Miss Clavel. Maestro Stroganoff will contact you shortly. Oh, dear. Mes enfants, I have uh, important news. The girls were shocked to learn that they would play in public on Bastille Day. July 14? Bastille Day? The day France celebrates its independence? But, Miss Clavel, we do not know how to play the instruments. You will have to learn, mes enfants. If you practice very hard, you can do it. That night, Madeline had a musical dream in which she and her friends played a beautiful theme. The girls did such a splendid job, the 
city of Paris began to sob. The citizens all clapped and cried. The cuckoo voice was filled with cries. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I must cry. <laughs> The next day, the maestro arrived as planned. He had long, white hair and looked very grand. Please welcome your conductor, Maestro Stroganov. So, we are very happy to be here with such talented girls. Lord Cuckoo Face has told me how well you play. Let us begin like zo. Zo, uh, what is this? <gasps> the girls could not play, and they could not fake it. And after a while, Maestro could not take it. <laughs> it is so terrible. I must cry like so. <laughs> this is not like my dream. This is a nightmare. So, now I will teach you to play correctly. If you please, mademoiselle. So he taught them each note, each line, and each letter. He said if they practiced, they would get better. Like zo. Do you see? Simple. This is the treble clef. Treble clef. And this is the bass clef. Bass clef. So the girls tried to practice again and again. They knew they'd get better. But then again, when? I am sure they can do it. But I am beginning to wonder... The girls tried to play, but they were not good. They terrorized the neighborhood. <coughs> if the girls did not improve, they surely would be forced to move. Before long, the girls had completely lost hope. All they could do was to pout and to mope. Without talent, there was just one thing to do. And what is that? Quit! Miss Clavel would not let the girls quit. In fact, she would not hear of it. You can do it. It just takes practice. Oh, no! I practiced for two whole days, and I still can't play. You should try the violin. It is even harder. It is not hard. It is impossible. Danielle, could I try your violin? I watched everything the maestro showed you, and I love it. You can have it. The old violin made the girls want to cry, till Chloe decided to give it a try. G. D A E G D A E We oui, I have it I cannot listen So while the others sighed and groaned oh. Chloe practiced on her own She practiced and practiced and practiced some more. 
She practiced while others slept and snored. And little by little, bit by bit, Chloe got the hang of it. She played like an angel. She played like a sigh. She played deep down low and incredibly high. When the maestro heard it, he started to cry. <laughs> I am so happy, so beautiful, I must cry. <laughs> see splendid. Ooh. I see you all must have practiced, practiced, practiced. <laughs> and when they listened, it is true. The other girls played better, too. Brava! Bravissima! So, it is working. You sound better. See what a little practice can do. So! Music filled the air all day. Even the house seemed to dance and sway as Chloe's song began to play. The next day, the girls were feeling so fine that they did not start to practice on time. I guess we had better practice. We will. A pillow fight. This means war. <laughs> and when her practicing was done, even Chloe joined the fight. feeling smart and slick till Miss Clavel discovered their trick. <laughs> Little girls, what are you doing? Oh no! <gasps> <gasps> Chloe, are you all right? My arm! My arm! <gasps> Come with me, ma petite Chloe. We will call the doctor. Tout sweet. Dr. Cohen was calm and soft-spoken as he announced Chloe's arm was broken. Where is he taking Chloe, Miss Clavel? Chloe must go to the hospital, Nicole. Oh, oh no! no. Where is oh, Chloe! Where is he taking her? Oh, Chloe! And so poor Chloe was taken away, and the maestro returned on the very next day. Come, girls, we must practice, practice, practice. But Maestro Stroganoff, we cannot play without Chloe. No, no, no. We cannot let Lord Cuckoo Face down. He still wants you to perform with or without Chloe. So, we begin again. Even though their star was gone, the performance still must go on. Girls did their best and a little bit more. But without Chloe's playing, they were worse than before. Oh dear, I hope that the Eiffel Tower is strong enough to withstand this. When the rehearsal came to an end, Miss Clavel took the girls to see their friend. In the hospital bed, Chloe looked very small as her friends arrived to pay a call. Mes amis, I am so glad to see you. Who are you, Chloe? We miss you, Chloe. We, oui, Chloe. And I miss you. Oh. How is the music coming? 
Oh, Chloe, not very good. We oui, not very good. Madeline told her they wanted to quit, but Chloe did not want to hear of it. You must play. Please do it for me. Miss Clavel, I want to play for Chloe, but I do not like to practice. Yes, we do not like to practice. Chers enfants, when I was your age, I played the violin, but I would not practice either. No? No. And now I am sorry that I never learned to play, especially when I hear the music. What music? Music is everywhere. If you listen carefully, you can hear it all around you. some more, and even when they could, practice no more. They practiced as they slept and snored. July 14th, at the proper hour, the girls were at the Eiffel Tower. And they were all most impressed when they saw a special guest. <laughs> note with special care, pleasing those who gathered there. They played it soft. They played it loud. very proud. Mm -hmm. 
so beautiful, I must cry. <laughs> But the music was not through yet. It was time to play a duet. When they were through with jubilation, they joined the festive celebration. Oh, there was much exuberation. So, you played well tonight, Madeline. I am proud of you. So beautiful. <laughs> now see, Maestro Stroganoff, all it took was a little practice. And so there was music and dancing galore. That's all there is. There isn't any more. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you. 